So this is a bonus video add-on to the Facebook ads training I did last week. I realized I had glossed over the point of how to create an audience that is the correct size, which is really something that I've only recently kind of realized slash been working on. Um, and my ads are working a lot better. So I did want to make a point of telling you guys about this. Um, I guess, you know, when I first was getting started with ads, it kind of didn't um, make sense to me, like, if there's an audience of 41 million or 49 million or 53 million, that sounds awesome to be able to potentially reach that many people. But what that's telling me, the more I think about it, is it's just too many people. It's too big. So you want to get more targeted because the truth is if I have 53 million people in my audience and say I place an ad for $60 and it's reaching like 10,000 of them, I'm never going to work my way through the entire 53 million. I would be better off having a smaller audience and reaching a larger percentage of them and getting better, um, better reach, better pre penetration that way. Um, just to use some terms from marketing, <laughs> I know, <laughs> um, kind of awkward, but <laughs> that's how we describe it. But so um, the idea is to get a group small enough that you might actually reach the same person more than once or with more than one of your ads, they start to recognize your name. And um, beyond that, the idea is just that if the group is too big, um, you haven't gotten targeted enough with your ideal customer. And sometimes narrowing it down can feel a little bit arbitrary, but I'm discovering that it is worth doing, even if it feels arbitrary. So um, on this screen, I just wanted to walk you through kind of what all these audiences are. Um, and I went over this a little bit in the um, longer training, but um, to give you just a little more detail, like, this older one here, um, these are like really big pages that I, um, you know, I feel like these brands were things that I was like really um, excited about, you know, The Bachelor, Starbucks, Victoria's Secret, but it's still, the age bracket is 18 to 64. It's probably too big. And if I would narrow down the age bracket, I could get this one smaller. Um, so the important one, one important detail is on almost every one of these audiences, I've excluded people who already like my page. And that's just important to keep in mind. If you're, you have some ads that you're targeting to people who do like your page already, then you just want to know who you're targeting. So, um, I recommend keeping it separate that you'll have a different message for the people who know, like, and trust you already versus a cold traffic ad is something that, you know, is free or is a page likes ad is designed to bring in new people. And it's a totally different strategy. So I recommend keeping those two separate. Okay, then the lookalike audience, I did talk about this in the longer training, but this is something that's automated. I don't have any control over the number here. It's just something that was auto generated by Facebook to match the demographics of the people who already liked my page. And every time I target to this audience, um, it's bringing in more people who are similar to the ones who already follow me and interact with my page. All right, then from freelance writers on down, um, our older audience, as you can see, I made them in 2015, was kind of just getting started with Facebook ads. Freelance writers is too small. There aren't enough people who have that listed as their occupation on Facebook. So these ads did not do well, and I haven't used this, this audience recently. The three that I use, anxiety and depression, infertility, and eating disorder recovery, those are the three audiences I use to bring new people into my page. As you can see, they're a little too big. So ideally, it would be between 500,000 and a million. Um, these are a little, they're, they're too large, um, but they're not you know, they're smaller than 49 million or 53 million, they're working pretty good for me and I'm not going to change them. But with the newer audiences, I am trying to go smaller. Um, and I can't edit any of these settings, by the way, um, because I, I don't want to repeat too much. But um, when I go in, I get an error message that basically these things are targeted on 
um, categories that Facebook doesn't gather data on anymore, but the 5.7 million people who are already in this group are going to stay in that audience. So the only way I can keep targeting these same people who initially were in the audience that was created is to just keep this audience and not change any of the settings. So that's why I'm still using those just because they have been working well for me, even though um, it doesn't quite follow the rules that I'm telling you about. Now this fitness interest, 49 million, it's too big. Um, and what I was trying to do here was find people who um, are interested in similar things but don't necessarily have an interest in beach body. So let's play with this one a little bit because it's not one that I'm actively using. I don't mind, you know, changing it around and messing it up. So um, I'm going to edit the audience. All right. So I have it's US and Canada. That's what it's set to. It's set to women 18 through 45. Now, um, what happens if we exclude beach body interest? So you can track, and it didn't narrow it down that much. I think it went from 53 to 47 million. But that's um, that's probably good. So I'm going to call this fitness interest non-beach body. And I think I put in um, insanity workout because, well, it's only 25,000 people, first of all. So it didn't add that many <laughs> to the list. But I put it in there because I was thinking that some people might... Um, be interested in, in insanity and have tried it without really necessarily knowing what Beachbody is. So that's why I included that. Like, I really feel like we can reach more, you know, CrossFitters, triathlon people. Um, however, this is just too big. Okay, let's look at these. So physical fitness, um, 328 million people on Facebook have an interest in physical fitness, you know, as determined by Facebook based on what you post about, what you like, all of that. Of those 328 million, um, I mean, it's when you put all these categories together, but, you know, some portion of the 47 million are in Canada and U.S. are female age 18 through 45. So even though it's 328 million, it's a smaller number who fit in these demographics. So what I'm trying to get at is when you put in an interest, you know, when you type it in here and you start looking, it's going to show you the number of people all over Facebook who have this interest. But then when you actually add it to your list, it's going to filter on these demographics and it's going to be smaller. So that's why I, I say that, that, you know, the, the initial number that you see, um, in here, whoops, I don't know why. Here, this is what I meant to do. Um, suggestions. Okay, so the initial number that you see over on the side here is not gonna be, it'll be a smaller number that's added um, to your audience when you select it. All right, but let's see, cause this is too big. What if I just remove physical fitness, just exit out, well, it's still 47 million. Okay, physical exercise too many. Exit out. Okay. 47 million. Didn't really do much. So this is a big one. Fitness and wellness. Let's just delete that because 842 million. It's huge. All right. So that took it down from 47 million to 15 million. Um, it's still not within, remember, our target of um, half a million up to 1 million, but we're getting closer. So competition, okay, this could be any kind of competition. That's the biggest one that we have left here. So what happens, what happens when we remove it? Okay, took it down to 14 million, getting closer. CrossFit, for, 45 million people like CrossFit. That's crazy to me. What if we delete it? Yeah, it removed 12 million. Okay, let's add it back. I just want to show you how easy it is to add and remove things. And you just always can monitor this number over here to get to your target um, target size. So what happens if we narrow down the age range? Let's say 30 to 40. 
Okay, now it's only 5.9 million, so now we're really getting closer. And it's still too big. Um, oh, let's take off running. <laughs> I hate running, so I don't know. Um, okay, so now we're only 2 million. You know, not that, because I do feel like runners could be interested in our programs. Obviously, they're people who are interested in fitness, but there's also something, there, there's something to be said that... Um, if it's something I hate, I might not get along with someone who's really into it, you know? Uh, and what's ha what happens when we delete this? 1.5 million. So I guess I just really want to keep these three because I feel like... These are like intense exercise people who might not have still, you know, tried something like shift shop. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to call it intense fitness interest, non-beach body. Let's exclude team beach body too. Get the coaches out of there. Yeah, so we're still at 1.5 million. Um, it's a little bigger than I would like still. I'm really challenging myself to get it, you know, a million or right right around 1 million, but this is pretty close. Um, oh, I'm going to put um, women 30 to 40, um, U.S., Canada. I mean, it becomes a really long name, but then I can um, at least remember what it is. Um so people who are not coaches already, hopefully, but they're into intense fitness pursuits and women 30 to 40 in the U.S. and Canada. Um, and it gives you the option, save as new. So I could keep that old fitness interest one that I had. I don't think there's much use for that. So instead, I'm just going to update. But I could save a copy so that I have both. And then when I go to audiences... There it is. And the fitness, oh, wait, no, here, here it is. <laughs> um, but that fitness interest that I had before is gone, right? Um, this is where it was in the list. So it says it was created in 2015, but I just, it'll say last updated with today's date. Um, that'll show up once it updates. Um, so I just really wanted to show you that, how you can add and subtract and narrow it to get to the right number. Um, when you, let me see, what else do I have here? See, these newer ones are all closer to the recommended size. The last one that I made that was really big was for UV2, way too big. Um, oh, so they must have just made this change really recently. So it says some of the detailed targeting selections you originally used are no longer available. So what this means is, um, okay, so the associated ads will still deliver to the original audience. So if I wanted to activate my original ad for UV2, it would still deliver to the same people. But if I develop a new ad and I try to use the same audience, I can't. Um, so I'm not going to mess with that, but I do want to show you. Okay, so this is why it's so big. Weight Watchers um, is huge. Um and basically, yeah, okay, Jazzercise, Weight Watchers, Pop Music, Zumba, Healthy Diet, Lane Bryant, Plus Size Clothing, Pain Relief, and Women 30 to 64 in Canada, UK, and the US. That was who I targeted it to. It was 41 million. Now, what ended up happening with this audience is I got almost all of the email addresses from the UK. I only got like three or four from Canada and the US. Um, and how many did I get total? I feel like it was like 40, um, 40 or 50 email addresses. So when the ad starts doing better in the UK, then Facebook starts serving it up more in the UK because it wants you to get good results. So that's kind of cool. It has dynamic targeting, but um, it also shows us that people in the UK are hungry for what we're offering. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to explain why this this audience is so much larger. And if I wanted to narrow it down, I would remove something probably like Weight Watchers, maybe pop music, um, 
or try to narrow the age down like you just saw me do with the um, intense fitness audience. Um, so it really is worth trying to get it down to close to a million. Um, so you can, uh, so the people you're bringing in, again, you know, if you're targeting things that are very big in general, like Weight Watchers, then at least target it to people who are similar to you in age, maybe, um, so that once they're, you know, drawn in by, um, you know, in this example, it was a video, promo video, um, Beachbody's promo video for UV2. So there's like a certain um, set of people that are going to connect with that video and be excited to enter their email address and learn more. So once you narrow it down um, to people who are more similar to you, that's what it's going to bring in is, you know, in addition to being excited by the video they just saw, then when they get an email from you with your name and your picture and maybe to connect to you on Facebook, they're going to um, feel that affinity for you because of the sim similarities that you have. So this is something that just really recently clicked for me and I want to share it with you guys because... Um, I really, up until, obviously, you know, this ad wasn't that long ago, like within the last month, yeah, May 21st. So it's really just within the last month that I've like really seen the point of narrowing these audiences down smaller instead of trying to reach millions and millions of people. So hopefully that makes sense. Definitely reach out to me if you have any questions. And um, as you're implementing this, um, please share. I find this stuff pretty fascinating if you can't tell. So I'd love to hear about what you guys are doing and um, how it's working out for you. Thanks guys.